I have not resigned to the shutting away of loving hearts in the dark ground. Abdul Malik al Rahabi went with his wife from Yemen to Pakistan to study the Quran in 2000. Their daughter was born in that country. In November 2001, his wife and daughter returned to Yemen where he planned to join them, but he was arrested in Pakistan. Abdullah al Yafi heard the call to go and teach the Quran in Afghanistan. He was a follower of Sheikh Mukbil al Wadi, who spoke out against Osama bin Laden for buying weapons and fostering divisions among people. So it is, for so it has been, and so it will be, time out of mind. After much soul searching and considerable struggle, Abdullah al Yafi sold his farm in Yemen and went to Afghanistan. He had been teaching the Quran in that country for over two years when the U.S. invaded. Fleeing the U.S. bombings, he went to the Pakistani border, where he was abducted by bounty hunters and sold into U.S. custody. Into the darkness they go, Abdullah the wise the and the lovely, crowned with lilies and with laurel they go, but I'm not resigned. Abdullah al Yafi participated in the prolonged prisoners' hunger strike of 2005, which was ended when U.S. prison guards used restraint chairs to chain the prisoners and force unclean tubes down their noses to feed them. Lovers and thinkers Muhammad Salam into the earth with received you. financial sponsorship from a with wealthy the dull, man's community the indiscriminate in to go and seek medical treatment in a Pakistan and what study you the felt Quran in Faisal of what you knew, a formula, a phrase remains, but the best is lost. For bounty. The answer is quick and keen, the honest look, the laughter, the love. They are gone. They are gone to feed the roses. Elegant and curled is the blossom. Fragrant is the blossom. I know, but I do not approve. Mohammed al-Himiri, also from Yemen, was seeking medical treatment in Afghanistan. He says a British uh, resident was responsible for persuading him to go there, where he wasted six months achieving nothing. An unidentified source alleges that he spent time training at the al Farouk camp and that he spoke to Osama bin Laden, but there is no evidence that he did. In his U.S. military document file, he is quoted saying, I never had a weapon. I never carried one. I never even killed a chicken. More precious was the light in your eyes than all the roses in the world.
as gently they go, the beautiful, the tender, the kind. Quietly they go, the intelligent, the witty, the brave. I know. But I do not approve!